15 Fascinating Facts About the Old West Howdy partners! Welcome to another exciting journey into the history of the Wild West. Forget what you've seen in the movies. Today we're diving into the real, gritty, and downright fascinating facts about the Old West. I'm your host, and let's get started. Quick Draw Gunfight Our first stop takes us to Springfield, Missouri, where the first Quick Draw Gunfight in history went down. Picture this. Wild Bill Hickok a legendary gunslinger facing off against Davis Tut over a gambling dispute. The tension builds, the pistols are drawn, and bam! Hickok makes history with the first recorded quick-draw showdown, Beeson Slaughter. Now, let's talk about a darker side of the Old West. Millions of Beeson were slaughtered in the 1800s, nearly wiping them out. The American buffalo, once numbering in the tens of millions, fell victim to ruthless slaughter, impacting Native Americans who relied on them for food and resources. Dead outlaws in photographs. Ever wondered what happened to those notorious outlaws after their demise? Well, in the Old West, they were propped up and photographed. These eerie images served as a chilling reminder of the consequences of a life of crime, and authorities used them to send a clear message to potential lawbreakers, cowboys, and criminals. Hold on to your hats, folks. In the Old West, being called a cowboy wasn't always a compliment. In certain regions, the term was associated with criminals. In 1881, the San Francisco Examiner even called cowboys the most reckless class of outlaws. Not your typical John Wayne image, huh? The real cowboy hats. Forget those oversized Hollywood hats. In reality, cowboys wore flat-brimmed Stetson hats, known as the boss of the plains. Designed for the harsh weather conditions, these hats were a steal at $450. That's about $74 today. Black cowboys. Did you know that one in four cowboys was black? Contrary to Hollywood depictions, African-American cowboys played a significant role in the Old West. Bass Reeves, the first U.S. deputy marshal west of the Mississippi River, is just one example of their remarkable contributions. Wild West shows. Imagine this. Wild Bill Hickok and Buffalo Bill Cody performing for a live audience. Wild West shows were a real deal, complete with staged buffalo hunts and reenactments of famous events. It's like the Old West's version of Broadway. Swinging saloon doors. Swinging saloon doors weren't just a Hollywood invention. They were real and practical. These batwing-style doors helped with ventilation and privacy, all while creating that iconic Western atmosphere. Talk about setting the stage. Women in saloons, contrary to common belief, women were welcome in saloons. They weren't just there for the drinks. Some worked as entertainers, saloon girls, and hostesses. These women, whether serving drinks or performing, were a vital part of the Old West. Old West jobs for woman woman in the Old West had more than one path. While some chose a prostitution, others worked as saloon girls, dance hall entertainers, and hostesses. These diverse roles allowed single women to contribute to the booming economy of the frontier. Poor quality whiskey. If you think today's whiskey is strong, try the Old West's coffin varnish or tangle leg. The whiskey of that era often had questionable ingredients like creek water, molasses, and even axle grease. No wonder it earned such colorful nicknames. Breakfast on the Trail Breakfast on the Trail wasn't your typical continental affair. Pioneers relied on coffee and bacon cooked over an open fire. It was a labor-intensive process, but it fueled these adventurers as they journeyed westward. Expensive mining towns. You think Silicon Valley is pricey? Try living in a California mining town during the gold rush. Prices for everyday items like eggs and butter were astronomical. The pursuit of gold had a hefty price tag, both figuratively and literally. Poop-powered cooking. Now, here's a wild one for you. In the treeless Great Plains, pioneers turned to buffalo dung for fuel. Known as meadow pies or prairie chips, dried buffalo dung was a surprisingly efficient source of heat for cooking in the wild. Not the first gold rush surprise. The California gold rush wasn't the first in America. We had gold fever in North Carolina in 1799 and Georgia in the early 1830s. Yes, you heard it right. Long before the prospectors flocked to the West Coast, folks were chasing that elusive gold in the hills of North Carolina and the streams of Georgia. It might not have set off a massive migration like the California Gold Rush, but it was a spark, a glimmer 
of what was to come in the quest for that precious yellow metal. So when it comes to gold rushes, the Old West wasn't the first rodeo in town. Well, partners, we've reached the end of our ride through the fascinating facts of the Old West. I hope you enjoyed this journey into the real tales and untold stories that shaped the frontier. The Wild West may be a thing of the past, but its spirit lives on in these captivating accounts. As we wrap up, feel free to saddle up for more adventures. And if you've got a hankering for knowledge, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.